What's good, YouTube? Your girl Faye back here with another video. Yeah, it did. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. I hope by the end of it, you enjoyed yourself. You can go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you've been here before, welcome back. Y'all know how we do. Yeah, it did. Today, we will be pressing Silky Socks Athletic Socks. Now, anybody that know me know I love Silky Socks. If you look around my space, I got all Silky Socks stickers and things everywhere. I keep going back to Silky Socks because Silky Socks has a quality product that my customers just absolutely love. Silky Socks also has a cool, dope Facebook group called Sublimation with Silky Socks. I'm going to put the link in the description so you can go ahead and click that link and join this group. It's a lot of good gems over there, a lot of good tricks and tips to do, you know, when it comes to the Silky products. Hold on, because my heat press ready. <laughs> but yeah, that's the heat press heating up for what we're doing today. I was saying, I'm going to leave the link in the description for the Silky Socks group so you can go over there and pick up a lot of good, uh, helpful tricks and tips about these great products that they have. Today, we're going to be trying a technique that I saw in the Silky Socks sublimation group. So I print these socks every day. Um, I haven't tried this technique yet. So I wanted to share it with y'all and we can try it together. Yeah, it did. So today we're just going to be pressing socks. Future videos, we're going to get into more cool things that Silky Socks has on their website. The templates, the designs, the uh, mock-up creator. They have some really dope things to help you uh, advance your business. Or as Silky Socks say, bless your business. Yeah, it did. So I ain't going to keep talking y'all to death. After the intro, we're going to get into these Silky Socks athletic socks. Yeah, it did. Hold on. So like I said, we're going to be pressing athletic socks today. And Silky Socks has a nice little lineup of colors for you for these athletic socks. Now the athletic socks on the top are polyester that you can sub on. On the bottom of the athletic socks, there's cotton. So you cannot sublimate on the cotton foot which you probably know. So with that being said, you want to make sure the line where the polyester and the cotton meets is as clean as possible. Yeah, it did. So with this technique, we're hoping to get that nice clean line where the polyester and the cotton meets. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so um, let's take a look at these socks, check them out before uh, we get to pressing. All right, so before we even get started pressing, I wanted to show y'all this athletic sock. Um, sampler pack that I have that Silky Socks offers. It's all the colors of their athletic socks in one sample. You get a medium size and you get a large size. And um, it's so dope. They have all the colors that they have available is gray, pink, yellow, red, white, purple, like a baby blue, a navy blue. Um, they have black, royal blue, orange, and green. Yeah, did. Today we're going to be doing, um, we're going to be doing the gray. And with the darker colors, like the navy blue and the black, you know, you don't necessarily have to have your line as crisp because you're not really going to see it because it's so dark. So you're not really going to see that sublimation that it takes. But when you're, um, if you're going to be subbing a design with these gray, the pink, the yellow, the reds and the whites and things like that, you want to make sure that line crisp again with the polyester and the cotton meat, just so you have a nice clean look and you know, it don't look sloppy. Yeah, it did. So like I said today, we're going to be pressing some socks with my cuzzo. Um, we're going to be pressing the gray socks. So we need to have a nice crisp line. Yeah, it is. So like I said, matter of fact, another thing I love about Silky Socks is just they give you everything you need to help you. You know what I mean? All Everything that they included, they put in their packaging. You know, you get cool. You get cool. Um, you get one of these every time you order. I have so many different silky plushy pushy thingies or whatever they are. I have so many of these, but the black shark is by far my favorite because I am a shark. Yeah, it is. But this this just shows you that it has every color of the athletic crew socks, one medium, one large, for a total of 24 pairs. Yeah, it is. Um, with these athletic socks, you're also going to need an athletic jig, and uh, we'll see that in a minute. Yeah, it is. Oh, one thing I forgot. I don't know how I forgot. Any any um, Suki socks that you order, they're always going to come with a bag to pack them in. How professional. And they're, they're already labeled. 
They, they label medium or large. You just put the corresponding socks in there. Put send them to your customer. Put your package in there with your card, your business card, and all that. And just how can you not, man? Bless your business. You dig? All right, y'all. So like I said today, we're gonna be pressing some socks for my cousin. Being that we're just talking about technique today, I've already printed it out. It's a Workforce 7720 converted to print sublimation. It prints up to 13 by 19. But today, I just uh. I, I printed on this 11 by 17 uh, sublimation sheet. I'm going to cut this in half. This be the front and the back of my socks. Yeah, it did. So, I kind of jumped ahead of y'all. I'm sorry. I, I got excited. But these are the socks we're using. Um, In order to put them on a jig. Matter of fact, let me get some jigs for you. Let me get some. All right. So, these are athletic sock jigs. So, these are the athletic sock jigs. Uh, like I said, I already loaded these. But I'm going to get another sock and just load it so you can see the process. Yeah, it is. All right, here. So we have a black, black foot, uh, white top of athletic sock, black interior. These are my favorite. So you can either get these with um, just the white interior or you can have the ones with the black interior, which these are, which means when they stretch, you know, you don't see white. You see black on the inside and it helps your design a lot more. Love these socks. These are high quality products. We're talking about a silky, y'all. We not playing. Yeah, So, the way that you load your sock on the jig, you want your top polyester part up here. So, I count. I'm going to show y'all. And when you, you want your design on the front of the sock, so you have to open your sock this way. The way I remember it, there's a size in each silky sock. It is going to say medium, large, small, extra, extra large, whatever. This size, always have it lined up with the heel. Then you know it's right. So you'll have your design on the front. If you're designing it that way, if you're if you're designing your sock and you want to you want the design on the side of the sock, just leave the sock as it is and put a design on either side. But the design we're doing, we want to make sure that it's on the front of the sock. You did. So my size is here, my heel is there, right? All right, so. Here's your sock. You want to basically take the jig flat like this and just put it in the sock. Put it in the sock like that. Then I flip it around and just push it down. Don't bend your jig like I just did. But you don't need, this bottom part don't need to be perfect. You just want to make sure that this line right here, when you do put it on this jig, this line is straight. Because you could, you know, if it's like, if it's like oval and it could mess up your design. So make sure this is straight. But once it's up there, you just go ahead and load it up. Make sure the top is straight. Just make sure you don't have no crooked lines. You know what I mean? And with this, you see how this is way down here and it's creating like this weird shape? Pull it up as far as you can on the square part of the jig. So you may have to pull your sock up some more. So at the end of it, you basically, you want it to look like that. That's the best you're going to get. You want it to look like that. And then on the back side, if you want what a lot of people do, if you can see the heel, they tuck this heel in. You know what I mean? Um, just so it, it, it presses on the press back. So, yeah, that's how you put the athletic sock on the jig. Yeah, it did. All right, now that we know how we got our socks on the jig, I'm going to grab some scissors. I'm just going to cut these in half. Now, like I said, this is my first time using the folding technique, so we're learning this together. But I've seen the results of it in the group and it's immaculate. Silky sock sublimation and uh, I'm gonna put it in the description. But anywho, I got my designs cut up, right? So, I think we need to go over to the press. All right, y'all, so we over at the press. As you can see, we're gonna be using our swing away today. I like to do a pre-press on my socks. So just put them up there. That way I can check my pressure, make sure all the lines are flat. It's a preference, you know what I mean? It's up to you if you want to do it or not. All right, so here we go, G.I. Joe. All right, so here's my design. This is how I like to print out my designs for the athletic socks. Now, you can also cut this in half and put one on one side and one on the other. To make sure I have complete bleed, this is how I like to do it. So, we take this. Make sure everything is covered. Let 
Now, Sufi Socks offers a template on their website to all their socks. So you can download the templates to make sure your design is going to fit. Which I did, which I will show you in a future video. Like I said, this is all about technique today, baby. But I think that's as good. Make sure all your design is going to be on the sock. Make sure you have enough bleed on the top. Make sure it's straight. I actually think that's good. All right, so now what you want to do is lift it up. See where your two lines are meeting. Cotton, polyester. Right where they meet, fold the paper bag. That's why you want to leave access bleed. I like to leave like a half an inch for access bleed, but you can leave more than that. All right. So we got it folded up. We got the bottom folded up. It should just look like that. First time we trying it. Then you want to take you some paper out, either butcher paper, craft paper, copy paper, anything to help the blowout. Put that on top. I'm gonna hold this, make sure I don't move nothing. <laughs> I got the heat press set at 400 for 60 seconds. And we're gonna see if we get them crisp lines. Yeah, dig. See y'all in 60 seconds, though. All right, y'all. Here we go. Let's see how it went. Fingers crossed, right? <laughs> All right, so you want to make sure you come up as slow as possible so you don't ghost nothing. Oh, we're gonna swing this out the with a. Pull oh, this back. Fingers crossed, y'all. Okay. Okay. All right, so let's see what we got. Now, I did get some on the cotton, but it's still straight and it's super crisp. And if you and if you do get some on the cotton after the uh, after you put these in the washing machine, it's gonna wash out of that cotton because you can't sublimate on cotton. But y'all, they look good though. Hold up. That's that one. Let me back up so y'all can see. See them lines? All right. So let me put them back how they were on the press. I really like how that turned out. Um, I really like the lines on it. So y'all know right now we got to do the old flipping switch. Yeah, it did. So the one on the right, cross it over with the one on the left. Boom. Flip them over like that. You good. So I, I usually let my socks cool for a second before I do my roll. So that's just going to cool for a second. Then we're going to roll them up and we're going to try to get that clean line on the other side. Yeah, it is. All right, y'all. So now that we did our flipping switch, it's time to roll them up. You just want to fill in that gap. So when you press your other side, you don't want to have a white line going down your sock. You want to see color. So that's a pretty decent roll right there. Now this is how the other side looks. You see how you got that white? You want to take it and just roll it towards the back. Roll it up, roll it up, roll it up. And I do that. Like so. You see, I just see a little bit of the design. That should be a good roll right there, y'all. Let's do the other one. Beautiful. Line it back up on the press. Get your other side. Your design. Get your design. Make sure the design is on the sock. You want to make sure that your main design is going to be visible. All right, so I think that's good. We're going to do the same technique. Fold it up right at that line. Shout out to Silky Socks for this dope trick, baby. I'm hype out here. All right. So let's get your butcher paper. Put it on top. 400 degrees for 60 seconds. You just go ahead and you do what you did on the other side. And I will see you on the other side. Yeah, then. 
All right, our other side is ready. Like I said, come up as slow as you can. Fingers crossed, y'all. Oh. They came out nice, y'all. They came out real nice. Yeah, I like those. So here we go. Final result. Those the best the back. That's the front. I'm going to go ahead and say this trick worked, man. I will definitely be using this trick moving forward. Yeah, indeed. So, all right, y'all. We finished our socks. We can go ahead. They cool down a little bit. Let's pull them off the jig. Now, you also want to be careful when you're pulling your socks off the jig because you don't want to snag them and stuff like that. So, I just usually hit the, the huh, huh, huh. Just slouch them down a little bit. Grab the top here. Pull that baby from the bottom. If you feel any resistance when you're pulling it, stop. Because like I said, you don't want to snag your socks. Bars. But um, that's one of them. Let's get the other one off. Hit it with the huh. The huh. Grab it by the top. Slide her out. Boom. Oh, nice, y'all. I'm so in love with socks. And I feel like these came out dope. Shout out to the Icy Northam Greyhounds out here. In Portsmouth, Virginia, my hometown. Yeah, did. Hope you like these, cuzzo. I hope y'all like this video. If you did, let me know you did in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. If you are interested in trying Sickly Socks, uh, I'm going to put a link in the description. There's going to be a link in my description. If you use that link, it does help my channel. Highly recommend Silky Socks. I personally use them on a daily basis. They don't just have socks. They have underwear. They have dog tanks. They have arm sleeves. They have sports bras. They have beanie caps, etc. Um, and just so much more. Like I said, they have the digital files for you. They have the templates for these items. So, like I said, I'm going to put that link in the description. Hit that link. Go check out Sickly Socks. Pick you up some athletic socks. Make you some dope designs for this fall coming up. And, um, yeah, make some. Yeah, indeed. We out. Like button. Hit that like button.